Hey, it's Pam from Ben McFuzzy Lugs. And, and today what I'm wanting to do is to kick off our April challenge. Now this is a challenge just to improve our Etsy shop with one little thing every day. Um, I know it can become daunting when you're starting to starting out, starting to learn about search engine optimization and everything, that you kind of have a massive mountain to climb of so much stuff that you've got to do. So what I'm wanting to do is to challenge us all for the whole month of April. We're just going to do one little thing every day to the shop. Now, just to so we're not just doing one thing and not getting to know. If what we're doing if that one thing is helping what we're going to do is each week I'll give us a different challenge for things to do and then that week you just keep doing the same thing every day and it gives you a chance to come back and have a look and see if that thing's working hopefully it also gets us in a habit of instead of going and saying oh I've got all this to do and sitting down and trying to do 200 things all at once and then burning yourself out and doing absolutely nothing for the next however long until you get the motivation back, gets us in a nice habit that you'll maybe set aside five minutes every day, you know, when you're having your morning coffee or when all the kids are in bed at the end of the day, just set yourself a short burst of time that you can do something that will improve your shop. So what I'm going to do, I'll be setting the challenges every Monday for what we needed to do, but I just want to set a wee baseline initially to look at so we can so I can hopefully see by the end of the month if there's been any improvement in my shop I am more than happy I would love if you would join me in this if you would like to share some of your stats that's really cool if you don't want to but still want to follow along of course that's also cool if you could comment below if you're going to join in and add any of your stats if you want to um and I will be uploading every Monday and we're also in this playlist if you have a look I'll link to the playlist and you can follow and see my videos and obviously as the videos will stay up for as long as YouTube exists if you're coming to these at any other time you can join in just set yourself aside a month and once a week watch one of the videos and follow through what the tips are and you can you can even comment what your stats are as well even if you haven't had time to join in when we we're running this live okay so to get started i just want to talk about actually looking at your stats so often people are saying oh no my stats have been down for this hour or something do not look at daily stats or or anything like that i would never say look at anything smaller than weekly stats because then you're just stressing yourself it's it's variations that you really have no control over. It could be in the area where most of your views come from. It's a beautiful day and everyone's gone out for a walk today. It might be raining and they come back tomorrow. So you've been stressing yourself out that your views are low for one day when that could be a blip for any number of reasons that has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with Etsy breaking the system or whatever else. It's just a blip. So never just look at your daily views. That's pretty meaningless and it's just going to stress you out. What I'll do, as I said, look at nothing shorter than your weekly stats. And then that gives you a better idea. In this dashboard page, it gives you a nice comparison as well because it shows you what it was like a week ago. But more importantly, comparing to the same time last year because seasonal variations make a big difference. So often I see people who've been running the shop for a few months and they'll cry out and say oh no my my views and sales are way less just now than they were in November and of course they were it's the seasonal variation October November December can be crazy busy lots of views lots of sales and then you know February March less so so don't don't waste your time not comparing like to like so what I'm going to do is pull up my stats for 30 days so we can have a look at how how things compare. So if we look look here, um, for the month I have had 2,600 views, 
which is a little down on last month, but this is totally understandable. I have a confession here that I've not been doing a whole lot in my shop because I'm still catching up from Christmas orders. I'm still busy from that period, so I haven't put in a lot of work, but we're going to put in the work together and see if we can improve things. But if we look, it's actually up a tiny bit from this time last year. So potentially this is a, just a historically quieter time of the year. Favourites, again, a bit down from last month, but a bit up from this time last year, so that's pretty cool. Orders, I had a good month last month, so I've got half as many orders this month, but that's cool with me, because it's more than a year ago again. Now, I will say, I am a small shop, I want to be a small shop, I'm looking, my maximum capacity is for averaging for the year of about three orders a week. That is all I really want. So five orders is a nice baseline that I can build up from. And, you know, this is a quiet time of the year, as I said. So again, if we look at the revenue, I made nearly 150 quid for this last month, which is down a fair bit on the month before, which totally makes sense because we had half the number of orders. But it's up on last year. So really, we're doing pretty well, but that's the baseline to start with. And also other things I want to look at is just to pop, is just to pop onto Etsy Rank, just because it's an easy way to find loads of numbers all in one place. And when I pop onto here, I can see, looking at some of my social media things, because these are equally important. We're going to want to build these up through, through the month as well. So... My Facebook likes is pretty cool. Oh, I'm actually only six away from that thousand. So hopefully in this month we'll get the big thousand. And that's well above average. Uh, Twitter followers, again, 1,500. That's fantastic because, to be honest, I can't even remember my login from Twitter. Um, I've got quite a load of tweets. That's because I actually have it linked from my Facebook account. I, as I say, I haven't logged on for a very long time. Pinterest followers. I've got 3,000 Pinterest followers. Um, but I only have 240 Pinterest pins. So just bearing in mind all of these numbers, uh, whether they're good, bad or indifferent, it's just hopefully something we can improve on in the next month. Uh, there's some kind of glitch happening in Etsy Rank or how I've linked things or something that it's not showing my Instagram followers. But I do have my Instagram account is is linked, but I don't really do that much work on it just now. But we'll get to that as well. Um, but there you go. That's my stats for the beginning of the month. Also, quick look in at my actual stats page so we can see the things it's telling us pretty much the same um my views 2.6 thousand favorites 151 five orders just looking down also my promoted listings for the month i got 261 clicks on that which is awesome no revenue from it i don't get revenue every month but that's good the places things have come from this is also really important so we look, I can see that Pinterest actually sends quite a lot of visitors to me. I've got some from Google Shopping, which is great. Direct traffic. Um, again, this is from Pinterest, just a different way it's been counted. So Pinterest is actually far more important in my traffic sources than Facebook is. Nice to know. Um, having a look, my top keywords that have I've been found when people have searched for border collie, needle felted dog, and needle felted animal. And my top viewed items are the cat bookmark and the Chinese crested and this Havanese dog. Again, fab to know all these bits of stats and we'll see how it compares. I will do another review halfway through the month and a final review at the end of the month so we can see how things go. As I said, keep keep tuned. On Monday, I'll have the first of our challenges, what we need to start doing to get going. But before, if you could comment, if you're going to follow along with me, that would be great. 
and if you take a note of your own stats stick them down in the comments if you're feeling brave if not just keep a note of them for yourself just so you can see how you improve so the stats we're wanting to look at are what we've already done here your views favorites orders and revenue and also have a look at how many facebook likes twitter followers things like that and how many people are coming from all the different places so just make a note of all your stats that you're interested in and please join me again on Monday.